God equipping you. He's made you like a polished sharp. He's preparing you for what he's called you to be. He's setting you apart for such a time as this. And then he says, in his quiver, he has hidden me. In his quiver, he has hidden me. A quiver was where the arrows went. It was a special place that had to be just right. In his quiver, he has hidden me. But it goes on to show how that Isaiah was like you and I, and how that he struggled in his times. He said, and he said to me, You are my servant, O Israel, in whom I will be glorified. But then I said, I have labored in vain. Have you ever felt like that, church? Ever felt like all your work's just gone on to the hard, rocky ground and hasn't produced fruit, hasn't produced the seed that you wanted to see? You've witnessed to your mother and your father, you've witnessed to your brothers, you've witnessed to your workmates, but just do not see the product of your harvest. This is what Isaiah is saying right here. And I said, I have labored in vain. I have spent my strength for nothing and in vain. Yet surely... My just reward is with the Lord, and my work is with God. It doesn't matter what we see with our natural eyes. God's in control. God's in control, church. God's in control. For he says then, and now the Lord says, who formed me from the womb to be his prophet. Down in verse 6 it says this. Is it too small of a thing for you? Is it too small a thing that you should be my prophet, my servant, to raise up the tribes of Jacob, to restore the preserved ones of Israel? I will also give you as a light to the Gentiles that you should be my salvation to the ends of of the earth. And then in verse 8 he says, we don't have time to enlarge in all of this. I'll touch briefly. It says in an acceptable time. You see, God formed us in our mother's womb. God commissioned us in our mother's womb. God set us apart in our mother's womb. God empowered us in our mother's womb. But in an acceptable time, I have heard you. You see, that doesn't mean that we just come onto this earth and we're the next wonder of the world. There's a process. Moses went through 40 years of training under Pharaoh. Moses went through 40 years of training in the wilderness. There's a process in an acceptable time. And I'm here to tell you, as I'm looking down this lens, and as this lens will go throughout the nations in the next short period of time, I'm here to tell you, in an acceptable time, there's someone listening to this right now. Your time is now. Your time is now. In acceptable time, I have heard you. In the day of salvation, I have helped you. I will preserve you and give you as a covenant to the people to restore the earth, to cause them to inherit the desolate heritage. Here we see our position. Here we see also the natural fight. God has called us to be kings and priests. But the natural fight is a process. Moses didn't feel like a king when he was in the wilderness. Moses didn't feel like a prince of God when he fled from Egypt. He felt just like Isaiah felt. And you may be feeling that way right now. But remember, you are what God says you are. From Exodus chapter 7 and verse 1, and we don't have time to go through it because we're going to finish up now. But from Exodus chapter 7 and verse 1, we see four things. We see that God has commissioned us. Secondly, that God hath clothed us with his power. Thirdly, that God 
has filled us with authority. And then fourthly, that God equips us for our calling. Over the next few weeks, we will look at each of these and begin to open them up. And I pray that you'll receive revelation from them. Let me pray. Father God Almighty, as people watch this video, I pray that they shall understand their position in you, that you've called them from their mother's womb, that you've set them apart, that what you say about me, about them, will happen. Father, right now, touch each and every one of them. That person out there ready to walk away from the ministry, touch them. Let them catch the revelation of this word. That person ready to walk away from that marriage, speak to them right now. Almighty God, speak to them right now. Restore that marriage, I pray. That one, Lord, that's been crying out for that baby, birth that baby inside. Allow the, 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 the infinite activities within the body, bring those eggs together to form another prophet for Jesus Christ. I pray it in Jesus' name. Amen.